More local news now. Thousands of people are in Williamstown, Kentucky. They want to see the new Ark Encounter for themselves. The structure, look at this, it's a replica of what Noah's Ark would have looked like. Nine on your side, TJ Parker is live in front of that Ark with what people saw just days before this opens to the public. It's huge, TJ. Yeah, Tanya, this structure really is made of biblical proportions. This is the largest freestanding timber structure in the world. The building of this ark has excited a lot of people, but also has caused a lot of controversy. Overwhelmed, first of all, at the size. I think it's fabulous. Folks in awe of this 510 foot long, 80 foot high replica of Noah's Ark. To actually build it in a biblical way is fantastic. The Ark Encounter sits on land just off I 75 near Williamstown. Today, 7,000 people were invited to preview the attraction before it opens Thursday. It's really time for Christians to do something of this size, of this quality, that competes with the Disney's and the Universal to give a message to the world. President and CEO of Answers in Genesis and the Ark Encounter, Ken Ham, spoke to the crowd about his vision for the Ark. Over the next 10 years, he expects it'll have an economic impact of $4 billion and bring in 20,000 jobs to Kentucky. I think we're going to see more people here than we ever dreamed possible. Ham expects 2 million people to visit the attraction every year. This is not okay. Some people, though, aren't very happy about the building of the Ark. President of Tri-State Freethinkers Jim Helton claims it's anti-science, immoral, and anti-LGBT. This is very, very dangerous. They're telling the people the Earth is only 6,000 years old, not billions of years, and they're denying evolution. Despite the controversy, Ken Ham says he's hopeful this will spread the Christian message around the world. It doesn't matter whether people agree with our biblical stand or not. As a Christian ministry, even non-Christians are fascinated by this. They want to come and see Noah's Ark. The Tri-State Freethinkers say they'll protest outside the park on Thursday, July 7th. That's when the park will open. And something interesting to note here for that July 7th day, they decided to open it up on that day because in Genesis chapter 7, verse 7, is when Noah's family boarded the ark. We're live in Williamstown, I'm TJ Parker, 9 on your side. TJ, thank you. Following